Hey, what's up guys? Hope you are well today. I have a really special treat for you today, and this is courtesy of my friend Peter Holwig. And if you don't know who Peter is, he's the guy who created our pipes generator, uh, which we launched maybe a half a year ago or so. Um, make sure to check that guy out. We also did a follow-up product called the Air Duct Generator. And these are really cool rigs just to uh, generate these uh, really detailed uh, models in just a few clicks. So they're tons of fun to play with. Um, but today what we have is a fence generator. All right, so when you download the product, all you're gonna have is a Cinema 4D file. Go ahead and open that up. And here's what we have for you today. Um, we have a lot of options in this Espresso rig. So if we click on the fence builder, um, if we go to the user data, here are all of your options. So we have two different types of fence. We have uh, this guy and we have uh, this type. Um, if you notice, if we zoom in here, this is actual geometry. This isn't just a texture, so it's a really nice model. Um, we have wire resolution here if you want to kick that up. Uh, that's where you would do that. Maybe do that for your final render. Um, we also have uh, the width of the fence and the height. And then we have the horizontal wires. You can have those on or off, and you can also increase the count of them. Uh, the pole resolution, you can kick that up or down. And then also how many poles you have and the radius of them and so forth. And then we have this top section, which is this sort of war wire setup. We have a lot of different options in here. Um, we have top piece, you can just turn it off if you don't want it. Um, we have these little spikes here on these pieces. You can turn those off if you want. And then we have the bend angle, so you can change the angle of the barbed wire sticking out, and the count of how many strands of barbed wire we have, and if they have little spikes on them. And then we have the war wire uh, section right here, which you can turn on or off, and we have how many rotations it has. You'll notice that they're not sticking on there when we change the rotation. Just turn it off and then turn it back on. It'll recalculate those clones and they'll work fine. So you can kind of change the amount of spiral we got on there. Um, and then we have the type of pieces on the war wire. If we change that, we have the stars and then a couple different types like this. So those are your options. Um, and then we also have uh, the materials down here. And this is the default material with kind of the green mesh. If you don't like that, it's really easy to replace them. If you have our material pack, you can pick out one of the metal pieces. I think we have 500 textures or something like that. So just uh, open up one of those guys. And if you hold down Alt and drag it on top of the green one, it'll replace that in the hierarchy. And then if we hit Render, we'll have a metal uh, looking fence. So uh, one last thing to note is that if you want to move it, Everything's hidden in the hierarchy so you don't mess with it. Uh, you can't move it unless you take this protection tag off. Just delete that guy and then you can move this wherever you want. So that's our fence builder, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please spread the word. It helps us out a lot here. And make sure to thank Peter for uh, sharing this with us. It's a really awesome rig and I hope that you find it useful. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.